Sarah from the upcoming, such a pleasure to speak to you. So very hotly anticipated this season. What can fans expect um, in general and from your character? Well, in general, I would say that you can expect uh, some shocks, surprises, a little bit of heartbreak, uh, still plenty of humor. Uh, you can expect me by the end of the season to have um, changed something uh, emotionally, definitely. Um, Dijkstra is the kind of person that thinks he has all the angles covered, but he discovers that there are a couple that may be lost. <laughs> That's uh, there's a learning curve. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, yeah, there's some real shocks in it, genuinely. And everything about the show is just so epic in its scale, the level yeah. of detail. What is it like stepping on onto those sets every day? And you know, what are some of the highlights and challenges for the season? Well, stepping on, yeah, those kind of sets, particularly, well, on The, on the Witcher um, and on House of the Dragon. But with The Witcher, there are so many practical sets, which is relatively unusual in these days. Uh, not a lot of um, CG, not a lot of it, but me, anyway. So I was in the castle. Uh, I never left the castle, but um, I was in the castle. So that was, that was wonderful. And the ballroom sequence, I think, was probably the most physically difficult scene for everybody to do. They went off two weeks. Two weeks. So yeah, you you I hated the song. Hated it. And such a bond it seems like between this amazing cast and particularly seeing Henry just so committed to this role, so oh, yeah. into the, the lore of the Wonderful. Witcher world. Um, emotional to see him go, but also excited about Liam maybe. Oh yeah, no it, listen, I mean I, I I wish Henry the very, very best, whatever he does next. Um, I know we share a passion for painting small figures, so we can talk about that later. But Liam, I'm looking forward to working with him. Uh, I know his brother Chris a tiny bit. Uh, we knew each other in Los Angeles before he was Thor. Um, and if he's anything like uh, Chris, Liam is going to be the fight. Um, I think for me, it, it is the humour that he's fighting, which I think is very strong. Um, I mean, there's humour in all facts to some but this one particularly really, um, really celebrates, and I think that's very important for fantasy. That there is a there is a realistic human element to it. That sometimes, I'm not saying that this is the case in other fantasy shows or anything, but there is a danger that fantasy takes you to. So when you're surrounded by monsters and magic, and wizards and all the rest, of it, you need something to be able to level. And, and that's what really Yeah, for Dijkstra, it's it's his level of containment. You know, the fact that I'm I would be utterly useless, somebody that held on to secrets, <laughs> gossip, or anything like that. Uh, that that he is somebody that has to play constantly to everybody around him. And there's, with the exception of Philippa, perhaps, that he actually has an opportunity to be himself. And he certainly gets to be himself when it's getting wet. Um, it's a private